So guys, today back for another video on the channel today, back for another NUFC news video. These videos do quite well on the channel, so I'm going to be making more of these and basically to get views. And I'm going to quickly touch on this now. We are one, mi well, we're really, really close to one million views. We're like 4K views away. So if you could watch the videos, it would mean a lot. Uh, we will hit obviously, but we'll have to see when I do. But in the video, we're going to be talking about the takeover stuff because I'm recording this on the Monday and the stuff came out players leaving, managers and stuff like that and yeah it's not been great at Newcastle so gonna be getting all the news out in this one video so before I start the video leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let's get into the video so when I do these NFC topic videos like news videos I'll have four topics to talk about so the first one we're gonna be talking about is the takeover and stuff and the stuff's been said by the Benzai group, which is good to hear. This has all been reported by Peter Green, Capital Radio UAE, and it's from at Dubai underscore Geordie. So he's working in Dubai and he's a Newcastle fan, so that's good. So stuff that's been said, uh, other, as we may have seen from like Keith Downing and stuff saying, uh, and yes, uh, the Benzai group haven't even made a bid for. Uh, NUFC and people are saying that they have made a bid but haven't done anything to the Premier League which I think okay right, we've got to just see what happens but he's saying that that is not true that they have agreed a deal apparently and have sent proof to the Premier League it's good to hear right but obviously Newcastle fans were buzzing at the start, really happy, it's going to happen, we're going to get loads of money, we're going to finish high next season. And then, when you look at the state of the club now, and now everyone's thinking, well, if the takeover happens, it happens, but if the takeover doesn't happen, what's happening next season? So, I'll put a, you should be able to see a couple of tweets before, but uh, I'm not going to read word for word from the... Uh, tweets, I'm just going to show them on screen and uh, we'll read through them. But what to call, they're saying that they want to give stuff to NFC fans. Uh, there's, I'm not believing anything if they're from the club or report or reporters. Like, I've seen this person saying, or oh, it was someone from Dubai and they were saying that the takeover will not happen until September. What he's saying <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm um, believing Sky. I'm believing stuff like this because obviously this has been reported from Dubai. With it, obviously he works in Dubai. He must have, and he's a Newcastle fan. He's been working with the Benzai Group. But all we want NUFC is a club statement. We want to know something. If the club say yes, something's happening. Yes, a takeover may happen. That's all that we want as fans. All we want is an understanding of what's happening. But we can't because Mike Ashley and his uh, workers will just not do it. Right? Uh, more interested in putting stuff up like Henry Servet, uh, congrats for getting to the quarterfinals. Yes, it's nice to see Henry Servet get to the quarterfinals. But who, NUFC fan, gives a damn? Really? Who? Who? who nobody. But all we want, and you'll see, is a bit of knowledge of what's happening at the club. But obviously you're not going to do that because it's my Ashley and stuff. And I've seen uh, a tweet as well about from the boxer who's from Newcastle. Uh, and he's basically saying that he wants to slag off my Ashley. But he can't because he wants boxers uh, and he'll get them for free because he's obviously famous he's a boxer but he's from Newcastle supports the club and he's saying that he can't say anything bad about Mike Ashley but he's not saying anything good about Mike Ashley not like Kevin Nolan Newcastle captain he was a brilliant player at the club he's done interviews with other Newcastle United YouTubers and then says it's not Mike Ashley's fault for the for the state the club's in whose fault is it then is it Rafa's no <laughs> of course not it's not the training staff it's not the media team it's down to two men Lee Charnley and Mike Ashley so Kevin Nolan saying oh yes uh, it's not his fault and stuff and NFC just need to focus on what they're doing no no mate <laughs> jump in the bin 
that's not the case. He's went down in a lot of Newcastle fans' expectations, and it's really hard to see a club captain talk about your owner like that. It's, it's a bit of a joke. So you've seen the tweets about the Benzai group. You've heard me about my Ashley. We'll get on a bit to another topic about Newcastle United and what's happening this week. So the next one, next topic we're going to be talking about is transfers. So apparently Manchester United are lining up a 50 million bid for Sean Longstaff. It's a massive, massive risk if they do get Sean Longstaff, but he's played eight games, eight games. Yes, he's a fantastic player, but eight games isn't enough to say, wow, we'll get him for 50 million. He's a fantastic player. And I think he wants to stay at Newcastle. I think he prefers to stay at Newcastle. But yet again, if Lee Charnley says 50 million, he's going to ask Mike, oh, come on, I've set this for Longstaff. He's going to go 50 million. That can just go in a game. I will get Longstaff off the board. He's hardly played anything for the club. Might as well just get 50 million for him. Yes. So that could either be the case or Lee Charnley can use his noggin for once and be like, Right, when he came out of the club, he's a local lad. He's just getting settled in with the squad and stuff. We'll keep him on and we can see if you do anything next season because he could be worth a little bit more money or you're going to help the squad so much because if we didn't have long stuff last season and Hayden, it would be really hard. Imagine, like, because Shelby was injured, Key was away, Diarmi was injured, we just had Hayden and... What's it called? Longstaff? I think Longstaff would have came in, but say if Longstaff didn't, he went out on to Portsmouth. We would have Shaw in centre midfield. Probably to have Richie, and then we'd have to play Mancuel left back. Like, he's such a massive part of our club, and it was so hard for him to see, see him get that injury again to West Ham. And it would have been nice to see him play the rest of the season what he deserved and he didn't. So Sean Longstaff, ah, it's, it is quite sad to see if he does go, but I don't think he will. I think Manche I think Newcastle United will, will reject a bid or Manchester United will just not bid at all. Next transfer we're going to be talking about is Hosselu and he's been somewhere today and that is Newcastle United, Newcastle United, Newcastle Airport and he's on his way to Spain it looks to be and so sad to see Hosselu go, you know, it actually is, it's really sad, he was a prolific strike at the club, over 60 games and he got 6 goals, it's going to be a hard miss, oh, Hosselu, <laughs> like come on man, he wasn't in training today, great to see, but Hosselu looks to be gone, thank god, <laughs> thank god he's gone, so it's not like, oh, for God's sake, he's bringing on Hosselu or something like that. Uh, I'm going to get on to players in a second, but it is going to be a hard miss. Hosselu, 2017 to 2019, you will be missed by every single Toon supporter around the whole earth. We miss you, Hosselu. So now on to players who are coming in. Uh, let me think. Nobody. We're, we're looking at Nobody. Apparently we'll line up this 20 odd million bid for this French striker who played for Mainz. Don't believe it. Hasn't been reported by Sky or anything. It looks very... It just looks like people are trying to get a bit of positive out of the club. Perez has gone for 30 million and apparently that will go into a transfer kitty. And that will mean money will be spent on players with that 30 million. I think what Mike will do will go... But we'll have six million on an attacker, six million on a centre midfielder, get a right back for four million. How much is that? That is sixteen million. We've still got fourteen million of our three players. That's how he'll look at it. We just want someone who can replace someone who's been at the squad for the last five years, who's shown his quality and been the top scorer for the last two seasons. What do you say about that then? It's just it's it's annoying. It really is. Transfers. We just want a bit of notice and we just want to sign someone because we're the only club in the Premier League not to sign somebody. So now I know what's happened at the club recently with the squad and stuff and I'm going to go through a couple of players who I think will do well next season, well, who we need next season. And first day last week the players returned to Benton and are getting ready to train for pre-season. Newcastle United, right? 
we haven't got a manager yet and we do pre-season we're, we're traveling for pre-season in four days we are going to china in four days and we've got new redfern and ben dawson as managers what do we say about that apparently gerard Jetra, don't not blame him imagine him trying to like sign somebody i think he would go off it with uh ashley but and like People will be going, oh, Charlie's trying, like, like De Dennis Wise will be going, oh, Mike's trying to get a manager, it wasn't his fault, Rafa left and stuff, and whose fucking fault was it then? Like, people like that will be going on like that, saying, oh, why? But how's it uh, uh, the club's fault? But, uh, Roberto Martinez has been there for the link. Uh, I would take him. He's the only one I would take who's a realistic option, but apparently he's not going to come in because of my Ashley, apparently, but... I'm not believing anything, I'm just telling you guys, so the players are training and according to the Monday, three players have returned to pre-season training, which is Mark Devavga, Fabian Shaw and Freddie Woodman, all from international duty. This leaves one man who hasn't returned to training, which is Miguel Almiron. We are yet to see him, he's enjoying his time power guy with his family, uh, he's just been engaged to his last, congrats to Miggy Lard, but... Yeah, we just got to see what happens because he's our only hope. The only hope of our whole club lands on that man, Mickey Lamiron. If he does well next season, we could stay up, right? Don't know what's happening with a manager, like I said. But players who I think we we need to improve and we might need to have next season. For me, John Joe Shelby has to step up his game, hopefully not get injured and really get at it because through pre-season, you can see Dummy and Longstaff and uh, I'd be for having a couple of drinks when there's Shelby training hard and wanting to get ready for next season. Yoshinori Muto, who didn't get his chance last season, different manager he might do and has been working over the summer. Same with Fabian Shaw, even though he's had international duty on his brace, he's still been working hard, which is great to see. Shelby's got to do well next season. Muto, I've got big expectations for him and I really want him to do well. I I'm one of the people who rate him. He hasn't had that chance at Newcastle United yet, and hopefully he will next season. Dwight Gale could be another one who we might need to have. We can, I think our attack next season, because we're not going to sign anyone it looks to be, will be Muto, Gale and Almiron, because we're kind of play Christian Atsu. He's got this injury. This is good, because I don't rate Atsu. Kennedy's returned to Chelsea. Players are on loan. has returned a lot of... Uh, Rondon is still on his uh, break, but Rondon looks to be joining Rafa back in China. So that's great, isn't it? So that's the stuff. Uh, as you know, the players return to training and they go to China in a couple of days. I think Almiron might not train for the rest of this week. He might just go with the club on the Friday with China, maybe, because I don't think he'll be travelling to China by himself. It is hard stuff at the club, we've just got to focus and just see what happens. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow my social links in the description, my Instagram, watch more videos. I'm close to 1 million views, it would mean a lot if you could go and watch it. So that's the end of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.